Shen came across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region. We've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. We are doing Operation Blind Druid. And the previous one was Swift Druid? <laughs> I guess he was a little bit too swift for his own good. Well, anyway, we are doing a guerrilla operation and our objective is to destroy the alien relay. And we'll counter the Hunt XCOM dark event. So that's definitely a good thing. Alright, so let's get started. We got our samurai in here, so I'm looking forward to actually using her. And our objective is over there. And we see a bio trooper next to it. Okay, well, let's get started. And I think we already found something. Yes, we did. Demolitionist and sectoid soldier, alright. Let's move a little bit closer. That will do. No need for overwatch. Let's just move closer. And we'll attack them on the next turn. This mission is still ranked as easy, so I don't expect anything super crazy. And no raider factions yet. Because they show up as sea trap. So we know there isn't going to be one in here. Alright, well, how are we going to kill them? We might as well take a shot first, because we can attack them in melee anyway. 83% with Joan on the sectoid. 72%. Hold on, how much damage will a samurai do to a sectoid? Probably a lot. Okay, at least 7 damage. Interesting. Let's just kill the guy on the left. And we might as well use Overwatch. Hold on, Overwatch with Alec. And we'll take a shot with John, because John can't shoot twice. And down he goes. Nice. The sectoid should be easy enough to deal with. My only concern is that... If we rush the sectoid with melee, we might trigger another group. That's my only concern here. But if that happens, then I guess we'll deal with it. Yeah, we seem to be fine. Okay. We can move the Templar and then charge with Anna. That's technically not 100, but he's dead. Alright then, and that's a promotion. Nice. So that's first group down. Alright then, let's keep moving. We could maybe use some high ground. It will definitely come in handy. Not for our melee guys, but... For Joan. Oh, yep, yeah, we got another group. There it is. A full group of bio troopers. That shouldn't be a problem. Well, we can kill one of them right away, I think. Yes, we can. Sort of. It's not guaranteed. But let's do it anyway. And he's dead. Nice. So, one down. I'm not sure if we are close enough to charge the other ones. With the samurai. Yes, we are. It might be a little bit risky. There's a pretty good chance this will trigger something. And I won't be able to move after the kill. So that's definitely not safe. We can maybe take a shot. We can take a shot. We could also use a grenade, but I don't think I want to do that. We could guarantee a kill on this guy. Might be worth doing, because John only has partial cover. Yeah, let's just kill him. So the grenade itself will not kill him, but 
it will destroy the roof and he will die from the falling damage. Not the best use of the grenade ever, but it's fine. So now the other guy cannot kill anyone. I could charge him with the samurai, but I don't want to trigger a group with my last move. That would be bad. He might actually run away. Yeah, he did. Okay, that's fine. We know for a fact there's a group next to the relay, but that's to be expected. We can still keep the high ground. Oh yeah, and we should grab the civilian, because that's part of the sea trip. We can get some extra rewards. Here. 34 supplies, nice. Is there another one anywhere around here? Yeah, there's one down here. We should probably grab him or her. Let's move in that general direction. Okay, we still got 8 turns. That should be lots of time. Definitely not worried about that. And I want the extra rewards, if we can get them. Might as well reload. And overwatch. So once we get two focus on the samurai, we'll be able to use the special ability that will allow us to not end the turn after kills. Which means I could kill someone and then still move. Or kill another person. And yeah, we got reinforcements on the left side. Well, I think I'll stay here and overwatch. I still want to grab that civilian over there. Yeah, alright, let's just do it. We got 38 supplies, nice. Any more civilians around here? Looks like that's it. Alright, so let's move back in this direction. No, I don't want to move too close to that building, because we know there's a group in there. Let's move slightly to the left. And overwatch. Okay, that will do. Let them come. Let's see what it's going to be. Bio troopers. Yeah, that's fine. They are slightly tougher than regular troopers. I've got eyes on an admin position. And the bio captain. Let's see if we can hit one. Yes, we can. Nice. We actually hit the captain. Refocusing. I think we can kill him with our Templar now. Pretty sure we can. Yes, that's a guaranteed kill. So let's do that. Focus, power. Hopefully we won't trigger the group inside the other building. We shouldn't. But I can't really charge the other two troopers. Because if I do that, we will definitely trigger the group inside the building. So instead, we could hit them with a grenade, maybe? If we are close enough to throw one. We should be able to throw one from, like, over here or so. Maybe even stand in full cover from this direction. We should be able to use it like this. Here, yeah, we can. We can actually kill this guy. That should work. Let's do it then. That's a pretty good use of the grenade. And another kill for the samurai. At least I think that will count. And he's dead. So that leaves us with just one. Okay then. Yeah, not a lot I can do about him right now. We can still try to shoot him, which is fairly unlikely to work. Alright, let's play it safe. In. I just want to avoid taking damage. Where are you going? Okay. Well, we parried. My cover will only hold so long. How did that work out for you? <laughs> Not very well. Alright, so we got five more turns. 
we should probably hurry up at this point. So I suppose we can kill him with the Templar. The power of the Templar. Works for me. More kills for the Templar. And wait one turn. I don't want to wait too long. I'm trusting you here. Let's move into full cover. Oh, we can actually shoot the relay right now without triggering the group that's guarding it. And I see a third civilian. Right there. We should try to grab him before actually finishing this mission. Because if we don't get him, we'll miss out on the extra reward. And I definitely want the extra reward. Well, we finished the main objective, so there's no need to rush anymore. I do have the battle scanner. We might as well throw it. Maybe move first. Yeah, let's move a little bit closer. And we can throw the battle scanner. Here. That should reveal the group inside the building. Or not. Really? What the heck? Well then. If you say so. Let's just wait another turn. We still need a reload, and I'm not in a huge rush. So where the heck are they? They might be behind the building, or on the right side. Okay. How do we get up here anyway? This way, apparently. Maybe on the right side of the building? Still nothing, what the heck? Okay, that's a little bit weird. I expected to see them by now, but alright. Hey, I don't mind, we can make sure we'll grab the extra rewards. Oh, there they are. Okay, so that's four enemies. Because one guy joined the group. Shouldn't be a problem. Can we hit one? No. We still got one grenade. Probably the best moment to actually use it. There we go, six damage. Okay, so let's open with the grenade. That's going to be the best use of that grenade. The only use of that grenade we okay. still get in this mission. It will kill the sectoid. Well, hold on. Here, we can do it like this. I can't hit all three of them, unfortunately. So, I'd rather kill the sectoid and hit the trooper. And we'll destroy the wall on the left. Or at least we should. That's good enough, I'll take it. Go, go, go! There it is. Okay. Oh, it didn't destroy the wall. Fine. Who's going to grab that civilian? Because somebody should. I can't even do it on this turn. Wait, where is he? Or she? That's weird. Okay. Well, how do we kill that bio trooper? I can actually flank him like this. I just need to open the door. So that will work. And he's dead. Nice one. And we can get some loot. But anyway, I still want that loot. So where the heck did that NPC go? There it is. We got 33 supplies. Nice. And now we can finish the job. On the next turn, I guess? Wait, how can I not see that guy anymore? Probably because the samurai moved. He was somewhere around here. There he is. And now he's dead. So that was a pretty smooth mission. But this mission was still ranked as easy, so... I didn't expect anything overly crazy. The Templar was the MVP? <laughs> That's not exactly surprising, is it? No, not really. Alright then! And everyone got a promotion, nice. Let's see, we will definitely need Shredder. That's a no-brainer. And for the Templar? 
Oh, we can get Reaper. And we actually have enough APs. That is super tempting. Reaper is so good. I think I'll take Reaper. I could actually take... No, I can't take both. No, yeah, I can take both, actually. So I could grab both Overcharge and Reaper. That is really tempting. I think I might do that. Well, I definitely want Overcharge. We can always pick it up later, but let's take Reaper. Reaper is so good. And that leaves us with 13 points in the shared pool. Alright, next up... Anna. Oh yeah, she's gifted. So what are these? Cutthroat. Your melee attacks against biological enemies ignore their armor and have plus 15 critical chance and do plus 2 critical damage. And the other option... Melee attacks never graze. I think I prefer Cutthroat here. Melee attacks against biological enemies ignore armor. Yeah, that's not too bad. It will have limited use, because one of the biggest biological enemies with armor are mutants, and we can't exactly melee those. And a lot of other enemies with armor are mechanical. But it's still nice. Plus 15 critical chance is nice. Okay, let's grab Cutthroat then. And finally, Joan. Flare, shake it off. You gain plus 10 will and recover from confused, disoriented, stunned and panicked conditions much faster than usual. Or Flare. Oh yeah, increased chance to hit against targets in the area. I like this one. Let's take Flare. That will definitely be useful against high defense targets. So, we got 105 supplies. That was a nice mission. And we got advanced expanded magazine from the lot we didn't pick up. It got picked up automatically. And we got a scientist. And we countered Hunt XCOM. Alright then. So, let's finish our research. Not sure who I'm going to use that magazine for just yet, but we'll see about that. We got options. What were we doing? I guess we should pick up the supply drop. Alright, let's grab the supply drop. And we're about to finish the research. There it is. We're making progress. So that unlocks the proving ground. We'll want to build one ASAP. The Advent Captain seems to provide Two days to research hybrid materials. Sure, might as well do that. And the Advent okay, then we really need Commander, second engineer. We only got one currently. Which is not great, but at least we got three scientists. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. So, Although where do we go next? 12 days, 13 days, 12 days. Okay, so this will all expire roughly at the same time. I think we should grab the supplies. Or increase region income. Okay, let's increase region income, because that will be worth more in the long run. And also the Chosen tends to decrease region income. Oh, nice, we got the Reaper. Very nice. We may have chosen a diff- My people have thrown off the shackles of alien oppression. And through discipline, we have survived. Excavation speed increased by 50%. Oh, that's useful. And we would never live in their cities. Alright, and what are we going to do next? And we won't Just checking the rewards. The last alien is dead oh yeah, we could do new for us, the Commander. chosen hunter Our hunt. Definitely a good order. idea, because we will gain additional resistance order. We just need to send a sergeant, which will have to be Bob, but I'm okay with that. What was the reward? Oh, there wasn't one for him. But we can get plus 5 hacking. Unfortunately, that means we won't have a specialist available for the next mission. Most likely, because this will take 14 days. And we can add one more soldier to the gate ambush risk. 
let's maybe send Ronald. Although, I think I'd rather promote him to the class I want him to be. And specifically, I'm thinking specialist. Because specialists can really take advantage of the extra ability points. I definitely like having genius specialists. So that's what I'm thinking. Let's send Starbuck. Sounds reasonable. So, off you go, guys. Here, off you go. And back to skying. Another important step forward. We got hybrid materials. Any breakthroughs? Nope. Well, so I guess we'll research resistance communications next. That's only five days. Things are looking good so far. Hopefully we'll see the Raider factions sometime soon. They should show up soon. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't show up yet. But alright. I assume they will. Okay, so next up resistance radio I guess. Only 25 days for magnetic weapons. That seems pretty fast. But resistance radio first. To begin, Commander. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance. Groups. Yes, yes, we will, Bradford. Don't worry. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need. To this is legend, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm just double checking. <laughs> so what do we do next? We could grab the rookies. Let's grab the rookies. I mean, hiring one rookie costs, what, 40 credits? So this should be four rookies. Oh yeah, supply raid. That's going to be useful. And we got location scout. Okay then. That will definitely come in handy, because we'll get full information. Still no raiders though. I'm a little bit surprised. But okay. So who are we going to bring? Fortunately, we don't need a specialist for this. Oh yeah, let's check what these guys got promoted to. Maybe a specialist? Yes, specialist. I might actually bring him to start getting some experience. And Rob, what are you going to be? You are going to be infantry. Yeah, that's fine. Let's maybe grab them both. Why the heck not? So that gives us infantry and specialist. Who else can we get? Rosa is tired, so we'll let her rest. We could grab Alec, our grenadier. We could grab Croza and Lotharion. That's not a bad idea. Let's do that then. So that gives us ranger, sharpshooter, infantry and specialists. Sounds reasonable. And we should probably use the weapon mods by now. So we have what? Two repeaters, which are not exactly super amazing, and one advanced expanded magazine. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep the expanded magazine for the Reaper. Oh wait, speaking of the Reaper, we could grab the Reaper instead of who? Well, I kind of want all of these people. I guess we can save the specialist for a mission that will actually require a specialist. When we'll have to hack something. Emilio, alright, let's bring the Reaper. Sounds good to me. And I think I'll just give him the expanded magazine right away. Because I'll want that on the Reaper eventually anyway. Might as well just use it right away. Okay, so that's going to be our group. But that's going to happen in the next episode. I'm going to keep it at one mission per episode, unless it's a super long mission. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.